from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Prince Solutions Company, De Bone Litho Princes, Infrastructure and Technological Investments, as well as its skills development and small, medium-sized and micro-enterprise focus, are engendering benefits for the company. Tisneem Bulbulia tells us more. The company has gained great value from investing in technology, its facilities, its workforce and small, medium and micro enterprises, thereby enabling it to grow its revenue by an extra 20% in the past year. CEO Keith Michaels outlines the company, its operations and its growth. So Lebone Light of Print has started out in 2000. We were predominantly a commercial business or commercial print business. But uh, since then, we've migrated our business from c conventional printing into digital business. So we've got a combination of digital as well as uh, printing in the business. We have five operations. The one you're now at is the main head office. It's Corporate Park. We're based in Selby, Johannesburg. Then we have one in Bloemfontein. We, we have an exam printing center. Gauteng Department of Education, an exam printing center. The Eastern Cape, we have a warehouse as well as a distribution center, as well as the one in Cape Town, we have Lebone Litho or Lebone Pal labels. In support of the city of Johannesburg's mission to develop and expand business in the CBD, the company recently revamped its block of buildings in Selby, south of Johannesburg. Michaels outlines this operation and the recent revamp. Okay, so we have a digital litho department. The digital department is your just in time, you know, when you average anything from one book up to about 500. We then have a litho department. From that litho department, we print anything from 500 to about 10,000. If it is a big run, we then take it into our web department, which runs anything from 10,000 into millions. We have a complete binding department that binds books, saddle stitch, and so forth. And then we have a separate division that does your picking, packing and your distribution. So the business is an end-to-end -end solution from literally from data management right into distribution anywhere in the country. We've bought these buildings that you're now in. We've spent quite a lot of money on renovations and particularly in the CBD we're hoping that people will come back to the CBD business will come back to the CBD. So we've invested big time in warehousing and as well as our corporate partner. The company has also invested considerably in technology and skills across this and its other operations in the country. Michaels expands on these investments and the benefits. Technology, like any other business, if you fail to invest in technology, not only in technology but in your people, the inevitable will happen. Your business will die. Uh, we've invested heavily in all our litho presses. We changed a complete litho department. We've, all our presses have changed. We've invested heavily in training of humans, of people. We've invested big time in capital. And we found that by not investing in our business, we definitely would have never made it this far. So we've invested, I think, over the last five years, we've probably invested about 100 million rand from CAPEX to infrastructure. At this point in time, we're able to do things quicker, faster, better. Uh, we find that with the technology, older people are able to grasp the technology. Uh, we find that in our particular environment, for example, machine minders, they generally older men. Um, they were able to invest or they were able to look at this investment and adapt into that te technology. So yes, we're able to sell cheaper today because that's what the industry is asking. It's asking us to sell cheaper, uh, but also the price wars that's going on. If these investments were not made, we were not able to then compete in the market, but I think the technology has given us the edge in terms of one, honing the skills, two, producing super quality. I'd like to brag about that. We're really one of the best uh, performing printers in terms of quality, and that's purely because of the type of investment we've made. Michaels outlines the company's digital investments. So we've migrated from your conventional digital or from your conventional print into digital. We've gone into platforms, developing platforms like e-marking. We've now developed those complete pat platforms. We've developed another platform called PayMarker, where the, the, the markers can literally mark from home and where government can track all expenses on markers from, from wherever they are. So we've developed enterprise development systems. 
archiving, electronic archiving, and in this business, we've wrote our own software to track and trace every job throughout the, the business, including accounting. Michaels also highlights the company's involvement with small, medium, and micro enterprises. SMMEs forms the backbone of any business. Uh, throughout South Africa, we probably have on our database about 3,000 SMMEs. Uh, at the Eastern Cape, we have about 210 of them. We've invested heavily in particularly black women uh, with SMMEs. And when we talk about investing, we're looking at prepayments, upfront payments. We look at hiring vehicles for them, maybe paying warehouses for them. And we found that over the last three years, these particular women have outshone and outshone the males because they got attention to detail, they, they, they're proud of what they do and they want to make sure that our children, uh, which is the, the future that we believe, are getting the benefits of the product that we, uh, we, we, we produce. So in terms of SMMEs, we've invested big time in, in them. We probably spent throughout the year on SMMEs over 200 million rand countrywide, and that is in collaboration with a consortium of Lebone Media, uh, Lebone Media Paul uh, or Novice, as well as DSV. The future of print, we believe, has not died. We believe that it's got a lot of potential. We also believe that there's a lot of enterprise development that can happen through, through this, uh, this sector. And we'd like to encourage young people to get into the space, you know, become entrepreneurs, become developers, become printers, uh, become brokers, you know, use our factory to try and leverage to get clients in and to make money on the side, you know. So we'd really like to encourage, encourage the youngsters to please come through and come have a look at what we do here. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.